It's time for Cutting Edge Consciousness with Freeman Michaels and Barnett Bain. Thought-provoking discussions and bold ideas from the edge of possibility. I know you very, very well, and uh, I want to unpack some of your own uh, process, your own evolu process of evolutionary consciousness. You're an explorer and an adventurer, and there's so much... Uh, to share there. Because the truth is, each of us comes to this, in, in my mind, this is Freeman speaking, that it, it, this is something that I don't think, uh, when we're first presented with it, it seems like a glamorous uh, path to take. Now, more and more, as it becomes less and less alternative. It gets a little cooler when you're the CEO of Shift Network, well, but it, for the it, rest it, of it us, it's not that. It doesn't start that way. <laughs> it, it, there, is, there is, at least in, in my experience, usually a way that the old operating system has to kind of come apart. And each of us has our own story of what yeah. uh, sort of precipitated our move towards consciousness. And I'm curious, or we're curious. I, I know when did you go on the rails? When, 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 did, when did you <laughs> get off the rails? Whatever well, the uh, uh, language two, is. Two of the things that took me off the, probably the first thing that took me off the conventional rails um, was the death of a really close friend in a car accident. Mm. And I was, I was a freshman at Stanford, and, or actually it was just after my freshman year at Stanford, I'd been pretty much just running up, little rat running up the, whatever hill was in front of me, trying to achieve the next thing and play all the, you know, conventional success game. And when I had a, you know, my best friend from high school died in a car accident, it really just put me into this existential questioning mode and really took the rug out from under this, this quest always for the next level of success or or achievement, and that put me into more of a, really put me on a path in a in a less focused way. But started you know explored all, deconstructed a lot of who I was, traveled, uh, almost stopped out of school for a while, experimented in lots of different directions. Uh, started going to a Tibetan Buddhist group, got into past life regression. It, it really ended up catalyzing over the next few years this whole much deeper existential questioning and 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 that that took me that put me on a path to um the California Institute of Integral Studies eventually where I where I started studying more formally transpersonal psychology the pioneers of human potential a lot of the different spiritual traditions and systems and that was a pretty big shift from when I'd originally been on the track to be a you know a doctor or a neurobiologist uh and, and realizing that I needed to I needed to answer these deeper questions for myself about who we are, why we're here, what's the meaning of it all, um, and that then led. Eventually, I was I got married, and then we went to India after a few years. To and, the by the way, to the um, uh, the exceptional no, uh, musician actually, and teacher Dave Mitchell. No, actually, uh, the, the 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 full story is that, I, that my first wife was uh, was a woman that I went to undergrad with, and we were only married for three years. We went to India, and the marriage came off the rails at the same time that she had a spiritual awakening with a, a, a teacher over there with whom she still works closely. Mm -hmm. So she was having this blissful awakening. I was in absolute the, the murk and muck of the deeper parts of my psyche, just bitter, vindictive, angry, and she was all blissed out and so we parted ways, and I basically went through a, a three-month meltdown on my own in India, uh, without any contact with the West. Wow! Oh, you and just think, you just mirrored my my yeah, first Freeman experience. My experience first wife too. went uh, a certain way, and I went a different way around a spiritual teaching, and uh, very interesting. Yeah, he melted down at an Indian restaurant though in West Hollywood. <laughs> well, <laughs> you're not supposed to tell that story. <laughs> All right. Come on, Barnett. So uh, we're we're with you still. You're in India. Yeah. So so that I think. The, in many ways, that was the the most profound initiation because it 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 took it really shook the bedrock of my identity and the sense of who I was and and meaning because I'd built so much around the marriage at that point and and I didn't really even know what I was where I was going or what I wanted to do with myself but I just let myself be deconstructed for three months. Mm, um, I, love that. I spent a lot of time different spiritual teachers went to meditation retreats just got. You know the usual India meltdown. India is a very in-your-face kind of place to travel and get your buttons pushed, and then you go into very beautiful places, and then it's just a hell realm. And so it was a it was a really profound initiation. I, I, I actually have a memoir that I haven't published called In Kali's Garden, because Kali is the dark goddess mm. of the Hindu pantheon that sort of destroys 
illusions and uh garden has that sense of like oh it's actually there's some beautiful new things growing mm. out of this mm. so i think there's definitely a point uh, there is a important aspect sometimes to the deconstruction a bit of rubbling of the old that's often necessary for us to go through a, a deeper awakening process what was the green shoot that came up through that rubble really my i mean was, my heart opened in a space of unconditional love in a way that I never had experienced before, ultimately. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of clearing of old patterns and identities, and then by the end of the trip, I felt like my I, my heart was really opening in some beautiful ways. You know, go ahead. Did you, was there more, uh, Steve? What's that? No, I, oh, I was going to say the third, the third t time when things really went off the rails was also another um, in interesting initiation because much later on, I had gotten the download for the Shift, Shift Network in about 2000 at a med meditation retreat, and I quit my job at Esalen, which is a cushy job that I had, and decided to go for it. Proceeded. Now, Michael Murphy may be listening in, and he's going to think, cushy job. So he wasn't working all that time? <laughs> What's knew, this cushy, knows, job cushy job thing? Every he time he walked by, you, were, you had a pencil in your hand, you were on the phone? The moment no, I, he turned I, the I, corner, I was it was a cushy job. think tank, which basically <laughs> just kind of think about... Uh, you know, what, what, where's the leading edge of culture? Bring together people who are doing interesting work and spend Which has all come in together the in the Shift Excellent. Network. So it, it was a cushy job. So anyway, I got this download, spent six months trying to launch it, went broke, ran up debt, and then basically I just had to kind of give up on the first phase of the Shift Network. And that was a profoundly humbling time, you know, mm. as, a, as somebody who had once really been into this overachiever mode, Stanford undergrad, and just to kind of be flat broke, have the company vision that I got and download this huge, beautiful spiritual vision, and to completely fail at it. Congratulations. Uh, <laughs> that's how it works. I'm, I'm yeah, not kidding. Is that, that, that these constructs come apart in layers? Is that, is that, I mean, yeah. that, that's what you're talking about? Absolutely. And, and what it forces you to do each time is to go deeper. You really right. want this, man? Here, here's the test. Now do you really want it? And when the answer comes back, yes, miracles happen. Yeah. And I, I think as we grow, we often don't need quite the, the, the level of dramatic deconstruction because we can take the uh, insights and the dismantling more in stride. But sometimes Definitely. it's like when we're, when we're more resistant, we need a bigger whack. Sometimes. You bet. You bet. So the second round of uh, the Shift Network um, uh, developed. It was actually the third round. So I went through. Wow. So the first round, uh, tried to launch it, went broke, 60K in debt, and had to kind of like dig myself out of a hole for a while. Built skills, ended up at the Institute of Noetic Sciences some years later, almost backdoor, backdoor, ended up getting the green light to create this larger network. We built it to 10,000 paying members worldwide, and we were going to hatch it into this new structure. President was really aligned. Ultimately, the vision didn't jive with where the board and then uh, the, the person who became the president after the last president wanted to go. So I had to let the whole thing go. So, so I basically flopped the first time, second time, build it up, and then have to let it go completely and start from scratch. I'm amazed uh, that there was even the infrastructure um, at that time. There really was not quite the infrastructure uh, at that time, is, is uh, more accurate, to have even uh, approached... Well, that's why it's what an you're idea doing that now. time has come. That's right. That's why it, it had to wait till now so you could birth this incredible uh, uh, project right. you have now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I and mean, that's how it all works. That is how it works. Hey, I want to track back because, you know, there's a couple of things that you've said that I, I, I'd be remiss if I let them just slide by. A couple language things. Uh, I like the idea of wandering and wondering, kind of something that Barnett and I have, have talked about is the sacred I don't know. Not I don't know in a complacent sort of giving up way, but I don't know because I, re but I really want to find out. You know, that the adventuring a, I don't th know. That's right. The sense of, of allowing yourself to discover and, and be discovered by a journey into I don't know. I don't know. I a don't full know. body journey. Yeah. So that's a that's a piece, and and I wonder today, and I don't know this, so I'm kind of I'm kind of uh, going in a direction that may not pan out, but we'll see. What is your I don't know process mm. today? Don't say I don't know. <laughs> I th um, well, this I is I'll I'm tell a, you what a different I, phase. It's a good question. I'm in a different phase because. For me now, the vision is very clear, and we've got so much in motion. Okay. It's, it's, okay. It's, sometimes the I don't know is more like I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to be able to 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 do all the things that seem to be ahead of us. And 
the I don't know is having to surrender into something larger, grace, synchronicity. There you yeah. go. Guidance, there you connection. go. We got you where we wanted you. Because it's, uh, you know, it's just the vision itself can be a bit daunting. And then I'm like, well, I don't, I don't know what I, whether I've got what it takes to do this. And so then that's where the surrender has to happen now more. Beautiful. So you are, I, 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 look, I know you well, and you are uh, speaking about this, this um, capacity, this um, maturity to be able to nurture and birth a big idea mm. and uh, to do it at the edge of your gifts and talents with a, an awareness that, uh, s that you are, at this point, um, a pipe, a vehicle. You're both dancer and puppet, and something wonderful is working through you. Something gorgeous is working through you, and you are working to birth something gorgeous. Both things are true. It's a, it's a, both a gift of grace and an act of will. Nicely said. Nicely said. He's got away with words, this guy. Yeah, he's just. Well, I'm just going to sit back and let you speak poetry here, Barnett. I'm going to let you speak poetry. <laughs> well, you know, I've watched you. Um, uh, I've watched you in this particular in this process with uh, Shift Network for a couple years now, and. Uh, some of what has happened is absolutely attributable to your will and your action, and um, and a lot of it is absolutely attributable to your willingness to be this man at this time in this place with an open mind and an open heart willing to be a vehicle, and that is what is inspiring to me. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's been interesting. This summer, often in, in August, I, is, is a time that I've often tried to do more contemplative time or time in nature. There hasn't been as much space for it this time, uh, this year, because of everything on the plate. But, but what I've been finding is that coming back to that, that the center place of not trying to, to force things, to try to do it with quite the same intensity, with quite as much will, but to allow something more heartful and spacious. And um, That's the dance. And it, I, I've noticed how, how easy it is to go out of balance, especially, you know, you have a startup company, there's all these things going on, it, it takes on its own momentum. And then, it, then, then you're just running to keep up with the bus. And mm. then, but there's also, there's, it's really important to come back to that place where the, the source energy is, is something higher rather than just the momentum of what's already in motion. It has to be, there's this kind of tuning in, there's a re- a, a recalibration. Yeah, recalibration. But yep. you know how to do that. Yep. You know how to do that very well. I've I've watched you. You know how to uh, be fully in the world and manifest and make things happen, and completely in that very integrated uh, masculine. And you also know how to uh, let it go, and release, and be in a uh, con contemplative flow. You know how to relax you know how to enjoy you know how to be in your body in on world. a good day yeah man i i, I want to meet this guy you're talking about here well Barnett. we've just spent some time i mean uh, <laughs> seriously um you do know how to let it go and to be in the moment and to have a good time and, and how to how to you bring that out with uh -huh. in, in particularly but this I, is I this is I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna bust you bust a little it because bit, this Steve, is so important you're, de you're deflecting a little it's and, such and a i big just am gonna call you on the carpet because it's interesting barnett has a particular gift and and i'll say it from my own experience oftentimes barnett will say to me something such as he said to you like you get this and i'm going uh, no i don't you know but i've 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 learned to go with him on this like okay yeah. And it's interesting because it, what he just presented to you is a vision of you that I'm sure you get glimpses of because otherwise you, you, you couldn't embody it to the degree that he could see it. But the point is, it's still very challenging to own that level of um, what's grace. The word? Yeah, grace. You're, you're a graceful guy. No, you know, I, you, well, just know, you know how to flow with big forces and you know how to party with them. Yeah, well, I appreciate that, and I, I, I will take that in, and I'm also, you know, just living in my own body and life, I'm also aware of the many ways that I resist or fall back. Sure. No, we know that's true. Back and, yeah, you know, yeah. So it's, it's not that my lived experience is just kind of living in the grace of the, the unfolding of it. It's like I, I, I'm in and out and yeah. 
challenged and taken to my edge quite often and, and definitely still get humbled fairly re- regularly by, by misfires as well. So I don't want to portray a picture that it's, uh, that's more uh, lily white than is the reality. Well, big so. achievers are big, big achievers quite frequently are seduced. Um, uh, as a result of the conditioning and the way of the world, they are seduced away from being very um, um, uh, intimate with uh, their with their being in their bodies, being in the world with the stuff, with the dirt of being alive. And um, and you're not. That's all I'm saying. You're not. You know how to uh, strike that balance. And I think it's uh, a, a big piece of of. Uh, your success it's certainly a big piece of who you are but a big piece i think it's reflected in your in your success at this point there's a maturity there good well i i appreciate it's really it's nice to have such positive uh feedback and framing and um and i'll i'll take it i'll breathe it in and i'll also hold the reality of, of the yeah look how uncomfortable all this just got yeah. see we, <laughs> we <laughs> these guys do <laughs> Yeah, well, let's see. <laughs> no, this is this is good. I mean, it's interesting because part of what we like to do on this show, and it's a this is a moving target, by the way. I, I don't think, uh, Steve, that we, uh, I think that w- both Barnett and I uh, have a tendency to track back to our comfort zone, but the goal is to is to push forward. And so I think you know the challenge of stepping into the vision that Barnett has of you. Um, I offer you that uh, that, that may be uh, a, a big well, it, piece. It's really fun to uh, to have a uh, a CEO of a of a, a pretty um, huge, a pretty dynamic uh, startup. Yep, absolutely. And to um, and that you are willing to go down this road with us, where we, you know, it's it's a lot more comfortable to uh, uh, to speak about and to acknowledge the the building mm. and. It is still the edge. It's certainly the edge for me personally. Uh, so this is why I'm discussing it. It's the edge for me personally to really be able to um, to accept that uh, there are other skills and there are other intelligences that are that that are birthing in me, uh, and that I'm relating to the world out of other intuitive ways that replenish me and restore me and make me um, a more effective. Um, manifester, a more effective creator, co-creator. Mm. So th- that's really um, one of the the qualities that uh, I think is uh, vital to my friendship with with you, Steve. And so, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to jump in here because this is a whole mirroring thing we're talking about here. It's interesting, you know. I I we we drew you in, uh, called you up. Uh, Stephen Barnett did to bring you on because you matched something, and and it's interesting because we've been talking about this a lot. And Barnett. you model something, and you model, you model something, something yes. important. Yeah. It's not not only as not only that you've built this um, really critical, I think, uh, a, a, at the perfect time, this this platform in order to uh, outreach and to affect so many people in such powerful ways at such a t- at this time but that you model a particular way of doing it. And how you built it is as important, if not more important, uh, than that you built it. You, you know, built it out a, a, as an expression of a, sp- of a spiritual, of a conscious That's it. practice. That's it. It's <coughs> organic. It has, an, it has a level of, of congruency, to That's use right. the physics term, that it fits together with who you are and who you are becoming yeah. that you may not yet know. And I'm, I'm now talking about myself, by the way. I mean, I'm saying you, but the truth is I am becoming something. I am growing right. into something that feels too big sometimes. Mm-hmm. I think that you, you both bring up a deeper point. Allowing each other to manifest or to, to mirror back the bigness and the, the fullness That's of it. that next evolution. That's it. We, because we, we, do, we do have a certain conditioning around uh, not wanting to be grandiose or unhumble or... Right. You know, and so, and, and especially there, if we've gone down this it, path, especially yeah, if we've so gone down this path, so we had those teachers who taught that modality. But I don't think that's the next one. Right. I don't think that's the evolutionary moving forward. Is to keep tracking into. I need to be humble. I need to integrate these disowned parts. Yeah, that's part of it. The next step is to envision something greater and try stepping into that. That's harder, mm-hmm. if you ask me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So now we puffed you up big. Can you step into it? That's right. So, so I'm supposed to say, how perceptive of you? Yeah. You will. <laughs> well, I'll say whatever the hell you want. I don't care. But the point is that it we, is incredibly, we're, ready, we're ready for you to be a superstar. Incredibly right, perceptive well, of us. As long it's, as we'll make it about us. Incredibly perceptive of us. Huh? We're coming. We're coming with you. We're on, the, right. we're on the same bus. Oh, we're on the same bus. <laughs> All right. Now, listen, we gotta, before we let you go, because we do have to take another one of those magical commercial breaks, and, and we need to say goodbye to, to, to you, Steve. But uh, before we let you go, let's plan the next thing we're going to do. We with should invite him back. Oh, well, that's good. You want to come back? You want to come back? <laughs> Why don't you come back in laugh. studio? Yeah, let's get you, are you, do you. When you come down to L.A., we'll have to get you in studio. Will you come in studio? We won't have a salsa band, but we'll. <laughs> we will take you to the Greek restaurant, though. We'll, we'll do, do we get to, do you, Barnett and I get to dance? We do. We do. We'll do, uh, we'll break some plates at the Greek restaurant. <laughs> Hopa. Hopa. So is that a date? That's the date. Oh, we got okay. it on air. It's on tape. So uh, he's coming on again. He's coming and, on. And, uh, Stephen, we're going to tell everyone to go to Shift Network. Is it dot .com? The Shift Network. The Shift Network dot com. Yeah. Perfect. Thank awesome. you so much the for Shift spending. The Shift Network. www dot the the Shift Shift Network dot com. com. Thank you, Stephen, so much for spending the time with thank us. Thank you, gentlemen. And for thank a great time. Awesome. And thank you all for listening. Stay tuned because we will be right back after this commercial break.